Hello everyone. In this video, the topic of discussion is class template with multiple parameters. As uh, in our previous video, I have explained the class template with single parameter. But in this video, I am going to explain a program uh, which implements the generic programming with cl template class, uh, class templates with uh, multiple parameters. So uh, let's uh, straight away go to the program and see uh, what is uh, written over there. So hash include IO stream and using namespace std. After that, I have uh, defined a class template with multiple parameters that is class T1 template class T1 comma class T2. So these are the multiple parameters associated with the class template. And uh, I have taken a class, uh, class temp under which I have uh, taken uh, two data members X and Y. One is of the type T1 and another is of the type T2. So these type T1 and type T2 uh, are the generic data types which are used in this uh, in this program. Under the public section, I have defined a constructor of the temp class that is uh, temp t1 a and t2 b out of which we can see that this a is a formal argument which is of the data type t1 and b is the formal argument of the data type t2 and a is going to initialize the data member x and b is going to initialize the data member y after that the display function will help to display the values of the data members x and y in the main section what i have written is that here i have written in this fashion temp with an angular bracket scare comma int t1 within single quote capital K comma 15. So what is actually being done over here is that I have instantiated the class temp with the object or the instance T1 having two actual arguments associated with it. That is one is a character constant capital K and another is uh, an integer variable uh, integer value rather 15. And uh, in this uh, sequence that is for this K it should take the data type care for this 15 it should be taking the data type int so t1 so t1 is the generic data type which will be given the character data type which will be attributed to the character data type and this t2 will be attributed to the integer data type and after that i have instantiated the class temp with another instance t2 with uh, two parameters like uh, one is an integer parameter 30 and another is a float parameter 3.4567 and i have written in this fashion in order to make arrangements for uh, that as well that is int comma float tenth within angular brackets int comma float so we are using uh, two arguments two parameters in the angular brackets associated with the object creation statement in both the lines and uh, i am using these two data types because we are using the class template concept applying uh, that with the multiple parameters so multiple parameters is this care and int parameters int and float parameters and so on so this 30 is going to be integer parameter which will be attributed so this integer data type will be attributed to this uh, class uh, template data type t1 and to this data type t2 the float data type will be attributed so t1 dot display will display the uh, values of x and uh, y which will so definitely show the uh, value of x to be k and uh, y to be 15 and t2 dot display will help us to see the uh, value of uh, x to be uh, x to be 30 and uh, value of y to be 3.4567 so this is the expected output which i am uh, saying uh, in this uh, uh, as far as this program is concerned but uh, let me just uh, tally this uh, uh, expected output with the results coming from this uh, output window and let us uh, go to the build and run and see this output and uh, see x is equal to k y is equal to 15 x is equal to 30 y is equal to 3.4567 so this is nothing but uh, exactly what is being expected by us from the program to come and uh, I hope the concept of the class template with multiple parameters uh, used for generic programming in C++ uh, is made clear to you. And still, if you have any doubts and queries in your mind, you can uh, well post your doubts and queries into the comment section below so that I can address them. Thanks for watching this video and please don't uh, forget to like, share and subscribe to DigiGuide. Thanks again.